this is Mrs. Howard and I'm going to take you through the process today of designing a Tinkercad cuneiform keychain. And you can see up here step one talks about selecting your initials from the cuneiform alphabet chart. So down on this document we have a cuneiform alphabet. And what you're going to need to do is using this, use the snipping tool on your computer, whether you have a Windows computer, a Chromebook, or a, an Apple computer, all of those types of computers do have snipping tools. So I'm going to activate my snipping tool because what I need to do is I need to select my initials. So my first initial that I need to select is the M. I'm going to select the R. And the third time, I'm going to select the H, giving me MRH as my initials. So now that I've selected all of those initials and snipped them, I'm going to go back up to the document and put them side by side in this box. So that's just a matter of inserting each picture one at a time where it was saved when I snipped it. So my three initials, my first one was here, I'm going to insert it. I need to make sure it wraps correctly in front of text. So there's my first one. So those are the three initials. Now the next step in the directions says to take all three of those initials and save them together in one unified snip. And this is going to get saved as one image altogether. Once I have that finished, I'm ready to go to Tinkercad. So in Tinkercad, if you have a Tinkercad account, you're going to want to log in. And then to start your design, you go to Create New Design. I do recommend that you play around a little bit to get used to the Builder's platform. So the first step is we need to find the shape generator called the image generator. And that's hidden under here. We've got a whole bunch of choices. So if we go down here to Featured Shape Generators, they sometimes take a moment to load, but we're looking for the pink square called the Image Generator. And I'm going to slide that onto the Builder's platform. When I do it, that, it opens up this Image Generator window. That image that I saved of the cuneiform keychain needs to be uploaded. So I'm going to select Choose One, and I'm going to find the last screenshot that I took. And that uploads. Now you might not have seen what just happened, but when that uploaded here, what happened down on our Builders platform is we have that image sort of engraved into a block or a box, which is going to be basically our cuneiform tablet. But I want to make this a keychain. I want to get a little bit fancier than just having a box with something carved in it. So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to click Basic Shapes because the shape that I want is the torus. I would like to turn this into a keychain. So I'm going to drag the torus onto the space. Needless to say, it is much too large. And this is where your first taste of real 3D design will come into play because we need to manipulate this so it's the same height, width, and thickness as the cuneiform tablet that we have. So start, we, but to start, we can see that it's much too tall. And to get that to be the right shape or the right height, we have to kind of drag it down. Now this one is 2.50. This one is three. So I want to bring that down so it have very similar. Now sometimes what happens is you get this snapping up effect that's happening and it won't let you jump to the space you want. In the lower right hand corner, you have something called the snap grid. And if you turn that to a small or very small uh, number, it will allow you to do smaller increments when you're moving. So now I can get that to be 2.50, which matches the 2.50 that I have here. So I know, now know that they are the same height. If I look at it from the top again, I don't want that large of a ring. I don't want it that wide. I'd like it to be a similar width. This is 6.97. So I'm going to drag this to get it pretty close, we'll go with seven. Then I'm going to drag it this way. And then we're going to move that into position. So that, to me, looks a lot better from the top. And if I look at it from the side, I can see it's the right thickness. If I look at it from here, I can see it's evenly spaced. And it seems to be exactly what I want. So when that finally prints on the 3D printer, it's going to be attached to the block. You won't have something blue and something white. You'll have a consistent 
color depending on what filament you put in your printer. But if that's bothering you, you can certainly change the color to match there. Now it looks about the same color. So I am ready to export this file. It looks good. I've got a little keychain with my initials on it in cuneiform. To export the file, you click export. Make sure you're including everything in the design. And I'm using STL files for my export. So that model will download and I am all finished. So there you have it, a cuneiform Tinkercad keychain. Good luck.